Yeah. You think he'll be alright? I'm sure he will be. He's been gone for a few hours. Our brother's not a chain, is not exactly the fastest person, but. But I'm sure he'll be back soon. Yeah. And I was like, yo man, you gotta stop going to the bar sometimes. Yeah. I had no idea what you just said because your voice is very bad. That's because my voice box was located there. It, it this is gone now, so I can't talk well. <sighs> you think the dead are out here? I think the answer is yes. Look. What? Some of the dead wandered out here, so let's go take care of them. I think I can't this one. What was that? Sounds like there might be some wild dogs in the area. Good. You hear that? Mm. Sounds like a vehicle. It's my brother. He's here. Shane's back. Shane, where? Wait, is it just you? Is there any reinforcements? There, they um, they didn't have much room there. So, we can't go live there. They told me they just didn't have enough room. They uh, had they, they had barely enough space and barely enough people living there. It was pretty small. Smaller than I thought. I think I may have went to the wrong base. Apparently, there's multiple in the area. Apparently. Uh, but we're going to have to go a different direction if we want to find one. Oh, well. Did they at least give you some food? Supplies? Uh, they, they gave me some supplies, they, uh, they, um, gave me this pistol and hatchet, or whatever. That's it? They, they didn't even give you any food? We're hungry, man. They didn't have much. How could they not have much? Military sh bases should have a lot of food, especially... If they were planning an evacuation as big as this, they didn't have much food, okay? Either we get food or weapons. I chose weapons, okay? Happy now? Hey, man, what? Something was wrong? No, everything's fine. Everything is fine. But they told me the direction of another military base, and we'll head there in the morning, okay? We'll head straight there. Alright, if you're so sure. Alright, everyone, let's get some sleep. We're gonna need it for tomorrow. It's gonna be a long journey. Is everyone ready? I think we're ready. How are you guys in there? You guys ready? Yeah. Yeah, we're ready. Alright, Freddy and them are ready. It's gonna be a puppy ride. It's pretty cramped on here. Yeah, but well, what more can we do? There's three less of us, so I guess we have to about that. Let's get going. It's gonna be a long, long journey ahead. <sighs> Ow. For weeks, we kept moving. At least it felt like weeks. We were just driving around, looking for anything, barely finding food or anything like that. Just going through and through. We went from one military base to another, it felt like. Every time he, Shane would go and go to it, he'd always come back saying, same old thing, it feels like. There's not enough room. There's too many people. There's not enough food or weaponry to go around. There's too many of them attacking that certain base. Or just they don't... 
or just that they're abandoning that base and going somewhere else. Which she always gave an excuse for why we weren't going with them. I feel like Shane's hiding something from us, but I'm not too sure. Until uh, he's the one that's keeping this thing going, so I try not to complain too much. Whenever I do, he always gets quiet about it. I don't know. There's something weird with him. But as the days kept going by, we just kept driving and driving. <laughs> Passing by the dead each and every other day. <laughs> Got it. Just kept going and going. And going. We kept moving. We almost there. I'm so tired of sitting this thing. Right. I think this is a good place to stop for the night. Stop. Looks like there's a sign right there. I think it's a map of the area. It's a map of the area. We should go investigate it. Yeah. Hey, there's a tarp right here. Tarp. We haven't gotten anything. No news. We've been basically getting almost nothing from these local military bases. Are you sure that they all don't have supplies in them at least that they could give us? I'm sure, Rick. I don't know, Shane. It's always the same thing with you. Always, they don't have the stuff for us. They don't have supplies. It's awfully convenient, isn't it? Every time that you go look for a military base, they're always, there is nothing. There's always a reason that we can't stay there. Well, because the amount of people that are evacuated to them is a lot. Not everyone's able to. Yeah, but every time you say we go, they say there's another military base. You go to it. They don't have room. Guys, guys, stop fighting. Yeah. Mary, that's right. You guys need to stop fighting all the time. It's just weird, okay? This tarp right here, though, is actually pretty weird. Yeah. What do you think is in it? Let's see. Whoa. It's a race car. Out in the middle of out here. This could make going to those military bases a lot easier. If we take this with us, you don't have to take the whole car with you. We can we can just stay in that so we can have a nice... And then you can use this. I think it'd be better if I just used the big car. We, we don't know exactly. Besides, we, we don't know if there's any fuel for it. Well, and we know we know how to drive one of these. Actually, I do. I could go to these military bases. I think there's enough room that you could fit on this, maybe. No, I think just using this would be a lot better. It, it, it would just it make more sense, maybe. If they don't let us stay, then they could just give us supplies. You say that every time, yet. Besides, from the first time you went to a military base, you haven't really brought much supplies from them. You bring food, but it's like scraps, pretty much. It's like stuff you basically just found. Don't ask, man. Just don't ask. They're weird. Why don't we just set up base here for the night? And then we can go in the morning. Makes sense. Alright. We could get a better idea where the space is on the map. Yeah, I see it. Alright, everyone. Get your stuff out. And let's start packing for the night. It'll be a long night. Mm -hmm. uh, Feels nice being at the campfire. You know? Yep, I haven't done camp in a while. I haven't gone to camping either in a while. Yeah, me and Chica haven't. Yeah. Hey, where's Rick? Oh, uh, Rick said he had to go, uh, you know, uh, had to, uh, a week a bit. Oh. Is it take the week? Yeah. We'll be back in a bit. Uh, I need to take this helmet off. It's getting gritty.
any tires around here. Huh. I haven't seen you without your helmet on in a while. Never noticed that. Yeah. Got this when I was getting back to the store at home. On the first day of this whole thing. I'll take it off. There. Oh, wow. Your hair looks pretty nice. Yeah, for someone who hasn't took that helmet off in weeks, I think. Your hair should look pretty nice. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Look at my hair type. Alright. So, what do you think we should talk about? How about we talk about what we all did before this whole apocalypse, you know? Yeah, what do you think we should talk about? Uh, no one's looking. Last one we went to. I think that's this one. It's like this right here. We can probably make it to at least a few of them before. Before they know she's gone. Alright. So it's pretty fast, so we should get there. Okay. Alright, I'm here. Let's go. What? This place is overrun, and all these military soldiers are dead. Maybe this one just got overrun recently. Okay, there's another one not too far away. I made it to another military base. A tank right here. Oh god, that guy's dead. Shot in the head and oh my. This base is overrun too. This was the one he said he was going to back at the plane crash. This place has been overrun for weeks now. All these zombies. Most of them are gone. He said this place is pretty big. Yeah. Go ahead, I gotta get out of here. I don't even know how to drive that tank. I gotta get back to the others. Something could be going on. They need to know what's really going on. Okay. Ran to the tank. So, um, so, uh, what'd you do? Oh, me? Oh, well, yeah. Sorry, I never got your name, really. Oh, Jackie, <laughs> my name. I was a, uh, car saleswoman, you know. I sold cars for a living. It was not much, but it certainly helped me live. I know you two were part of the military. Yeah. Jim. Yeah. Yeah, I was part of the military. I lost. But before that, I was a, uh, I was actually working in a factory, but, well, less of a factory and more of a mechanic. But although I was in a factory for a while. And that's how I lost my first hand. I lost in equipment, got fired, so I joined the military. Now I've lost my other hand. I was a shoe salesman back in the day, you know. 
Oh, never knew that about you, Alan. Yeah, shoe salesman. Not pretty good. How about you, Amy? Oh, I would say, uh, I was going to college. I, I, I wasn't, I didn't have a job or anything. I, uh, I'm hoping to get one. Well, Alex, uh, bakery, you know, yeah. You work, I was a mechanic, you know, I worked on cars, stuff like that. How about you? Uh, pilot, well, co-pilot, I guess. But I'm kind of got my both my hands amputated. <laughs> it was not fun. Not fun at all. Yep. Ugh, careful, honey. <laughs> well, just because you can't sit, I gotta hold you like this. Uh, Enderman, we, I, I actually never knew what you did before this. Or Puppet. Oh, I worked at a pizzeria. These two also worked there, but uh, they kind of got fired. You know, we were living at the homeless shelter for years now. Uh, but I still had my job at this pizzeria. And Mr. Teleport over here, yeah, he didn't really have a job. He just kind of, kind of like, bed on, he just kind of did things for people. You should have all been teleporting a lot in order to get money. Yeah. Well, how about you, Raptor? Oh, me? Uh, uh, Dream Drop, Ice Cream Man. I wish I could have been it. But after my, uh, but my brothers, but, uh, I, I, I just, I, I worked at the zoo. I was actually in a track net at the zoo, the Dino Zoo. It's not that far away, actually, from here. My, uh, it was my brother's dying wish for me to stay there. I mean, attraction. Eventually, I was allowed to just have amnesty and just leave it whenever I want. Mostly because the other raptors were kind of jerks. But yeah, did like the T-Rexes, though. And yeah, nice. How about you, Lori? Oh, me? I was just, I was a clerk. Kind of what I did for till now and then I met your brother and things were different let's just say Rick's uh, interesting I think that's the best way I can all describe Rick yeah yeah I'm... where are you going oh I'm uh kind of want to uh, I kind of want to go I actually know how to play guitar and I kind of want to play that guitar over there it's been used as a weapon, but I want to see if it can even still work. Okay. Just be careful. I'll be fine. So, like, somebody's gonna grab me. Okay. Okay, let me grab it. And, 